What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be changing the oil on the GSXR. And I got the oil right here and the oil filter. I think it's supposed to take uh, three and a half quarts of oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking the, the bottom fairing off and start changing the oil. So whoever put this on, obviously this is aftermarket like I said, but they didn't put it on, uh, there's only two bolts on each side so it's not held on that very good so just take both these bolts off on both sides and it should come off all right so this one just had a stud holding in that side and this one's just zip tied in so I'm gonna go ahead and take those off. All right, just fell down. Go ahead and get this out of the way. Here's the oil filter right here. All right, so the oil drain plug is just right in between the exhaust right here under the oil filter so i'm gonna go ahead and take that bolt out and start draining the oil drop the bolt in there uh oil looks pretty clean i'm gonna start taking off the oil filter now that the drain plugs out I'm going to take the hose clamp off so I can put it on the new one. And here's the new one right here. I'm going to leave it a little bit loose so I can slide it around and then tighten it up when I get it up there. I went ahead and opened one up and I got some on my finger. I'm gonna go ahead and just lube up the seal so it gets a good seal. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the new filter back on and tighten it up and then put the plug back in. I'm gonna go ahead and Put this on after so I can tighten it up. I went ahead and got the drain plug out of the oil pan, and there is quite a few of big metal chunks in there which is kind of concerning but i'm gonna go ahead and pick those off and then put the drain plug back in drain plug seems to not be getting tight but That's not very good. All right, so I went ahead and put the took the plug back out and I looked at the threads and they don't look that good. Um, this actually came out of the of the bolt like a thread of the of the inside of the motor. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and there's a bunch of sealant tape on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and hopefully it'll start getting tight or something and it won't come loose. 
All right, so I went ahead and put a bunch of sealant tape on here and hopefully it'll tighten up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. All right, so I got the drain plug on uh, pretty tight. I can't get it off with my fingers, so I think that's pretty tight enough. Um, I am gonna run the, the wire, like the oil filter and some other things on the bike. I'm just gonna go to the, the hose clamp around the oil filter too and tighten it up to where the bolt won't get loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and twist the wire now with the drill. All right, so I got it twisted and onto the hose clamps and they're both pretty tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the hose clamp up. I'm gonna go ahead and take the filling plug off and then start filling it up. It actually says right here how much oil it takes. It says 2,800 milliliters, which converts to almost three quarts. So I went ahead and got a 10W40 because that's what they recommend for the bike. So I'm gonna go ahead and put about three quarts in there and, and then check it. You wanna make sure the bike is sitting straight up uh, and then check it to make sure that it goes to full, which is right here. All right, so right there, it's about full. All right, so it was it was that full. It went ahead and like sucked some down, so it's about like half now when it's sitting level. So I'm gonna go ahead and and start it up and let because the oil filter's empty. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and let it run for a couple minutes or something, and, and then see what it's at. pressure light was on but it went ahead and went away so looks like we're good all right so I let it go ahead and run and now that it's fully empty so I'm gonna go ahead and put some more oil in it now and see what it's at all right so I went ahead and filled it up a little bit more it took about three and a quarter but now it's right at the full line so I'm gonna go ahead and put the fairing back on now I went ahead and found some bolts that'll fit in here. Uh, this one actually is missing the clip, but I'm gonna just put a nut on the back side and that should work out. This is just a temporary fix. There is a couple bolts missing uh, in other places. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and order a a full a full bolt kit for like all the fairings the oil looked pretty clean when it was dripping but now that i look at it in the bucket it looks pretty pretty bad so good thing we did change the oil i was just going to change it because the new owner and all that but looked like it really did need changed all right so the new helmet just came in Comes in a little bag. Oh, I think it looks really good. All right, so I got the tin advisor here. And it has some vents on the side too. I think it looks really good. We got a new license plate bracket. This 
This one's like aftermarket fairings, like I said. So I am gonna have to drill some holes. But all right, so I'm just gonna get the bracket and mark where I want the holes. Put the bolts on now. All right, I got it on and it's pretty sturdy. So now I'm gonna put the tag on. This is gonna be the end of this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more of the GSXR or my Mach 1, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and get that bell on so you get notifications whenever I post a video. And see you all next time.